What's up today fans, Dave Palumbo here from Muscle Serpents Daily, and I'm super excited to bring you this video today because I've been waiting for this clutch to hatch, well for 60 days, but I've been, I've been visualizing this clutch hatching for, for at least two years now. Uh, it's, it's something that I, I've really been working on for a long time, this project. Uh, it was started with a, a, a gorgeous male, super enchi, hypo, rainbow. Rainbow being a recessive trait that kind of looks like something between a cross between an albino and a, and a I would say a, a banana, but it's recessive. It stays clean its whole life. It's, it's just gorgeous. And you know, I, I've been, I've been, I produced a whole bunch of babies from this, this male several years ago. The male died on me unexpectedly. I don't know what happened. You know, maybe he bred too much. I, I really don't know. He just stressed out. I don't know. It was, but I had a lot of these babies. So I held back all his babies from all the clutches that he sired. And I grew them up slowly. But luckily within two and a half years, we were able to produce some babies. Now the first clutch I showed you guys a, little, a couple weeks ago, didn't produce any visual rainbows. However, the clutch that's in the incubator now that just hatched out has got some good stuff. So I'm gonna show you the dad and uh, what he looks like and then uh, see what he produced because it's pretty spectacular. Let's take a look. All right, here is the uh, daddy to a beautiful clutch that I'm gonna be showing you in a few minutes. He is a hypo enchi hurricane. Het rainbow, 100%. Rainbow being that recessive trait that looks very similar to a banana with albino looking like tendencies. Um, it stays really clean as it gets older. It's got tremendous purples and oh, I love them. My male that actually produced this, a visual that produced this boy and his uh, sister who I bred him to, who's an exact same, uh, it was a basic carbon copy of him, also a hypo and she, Hurricane Hit Rainbow, was gorgeous. He uh, died, unfortunately. Luckily, I have his progeny here and uh, they reproduced and we got a clutch of eggs and they just finished hatching. I'm gonna show you the babies in a few minutes. As you can see, I mean, he's got the great, great high expression hurricane swirls. He's got that nice light hypo melanistic look. Look at his head. You can see it looks like someone took a pencil eraser. He's got the nice crazy contrast from the Enchi gene in there. This is just like, this boy's got so much potential. I really, he, and, he, and he bred a lot of females for me this year. And he's super healthy. The guy, he, he eats like a horse and can't be happier so we're gonna go and take a look and see what he produced because it's pretty spectacular all right so let's take a look at this crazy litter we've been talking about because uh, this is one of my favorites of the entire year we'll start off with, with with this little this little guy right here and on inspection I think he's nothing but he might be I don't know, he might be a low expression hurricane. I'm not sure. Now, everything in this litter is hypo, okay? And if we don't hit a rainbow, everything we don't hit on is gonna be considered 66% heck rainbow. So this is a hypo. I don't know if there's Enchi in here. There might be Enchi in here. Hypo possible Enchi, 66% heck rainbow. Really nice. I don't think I don't think there's any uh, hurricane in here. So we'll put him aside. Now we're gonna get to some, some cool, cool stuff. Now we get to the hurricane stuff. So these are all, remember, all hypo. We didn't hit rainbow on this, so we're 66% hit rainbow. We, we definitely hit hurricane here. See those hurricane swirls? It's pretty extreme too. So I, I would say there's probably entry in here. I see a lot of um, cleanness in here. So I would call this a hypo enchi Hurricane possible. I think this is super hurricane actually. The head is really solid colored. I would call this a a, a super hurricane. Um, just really clean. You can see the Enchi influence in here. These could be possible, you know, super Enchis too. I'm not even sure how you would even tell with all these genes in here to be honest with you. So I'm calling this Enchi Hypo Super Hurricane 66% head hurricane. Now, here's another one that looks very similar. Very, very similar, except I see a little bit more crazy stuff going on here. I don't know if one of these is super inchy, one's inchy. I always, you know, sometimes look for that 
pinched off head pattern on Enchi, but this, once again, because there's hypo in here and there's hurricane, it's like a lot, there's like a lot of different things going on and a lot of different things influencing how these guys look. So I would probably call these guys the same. This might, you know, be, I don't know. Once again, it's hard for me to call. I, I almost think they look the same. Now here's a third one that looks very similar as well. Once again, it looks, it's look at those crazy, crazy, crazy swirls, that what I call the, the double bicep poses. Very extreme hurricane pattern here. Hypo, of course, definitely Enchi in these. These all look really, really similar, these three. And you can see the difference between these three guys and when you when you put this guy in here. He just doesn't have that, that hurricane-ish look to him. Um, if I was just left with this clutch and this was it, I would be very happy. This would be a very happy day for me. Because I'm finally producing some really, really cool hurricane stuff. And once again, I really believe these are super hurricanes. At least some of them might be. I'll have to wait to see how they shed. I'm going to hopefully share these with Hans Winter. We'll, maybe he can give me some, some clues and insights. They look really, really extreme. So I think they are. But to me, the excitement of this clutch, let's push these sides aside. Everyone's cooperating. No one's going on runs or anything like that or running away. Here we go, visual hurricanes that are also Hypo, Enchi, and Rainbow. There it is, we got three of them. Yep, I thought I had two, but the, my last egg that I wasn't sure I was gonna hatch out, hatch out another rainbow, so. The rainbows came out last, I don't know what that means. I guess the, you put more morphs into things, they don't, they, 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 they like to stay in the egg more. <laughs> Look at this one, this one is super extreme. This might be the, oh, well, they're all really nice. This one has got a lot going on. This is, I would call this Super Enchi, Super Hurricane, Rainbow, Hypo. I think this is, I think this is everything. I think we hit everything. Everything in the kitchen sink with this one, to be honest with you. All of these are Hurricane, Rainbow, Hypos. They all look like they contain at least one copy of the Gene Enchi, which is great. Oh, now these other guys, they, now they're going, they, they, they're mad that they're not the center of attention now, they're going for a walk. I just love these rainbows, look at that. The purples in these. You know, rainbows are real, hypo rainbows, I, I've had a male before, the father was a hypo rainbow. And, and super Enchi. and he was really light. These guys are dark, I think, number one, because they haven't shed, but number two, because they got the hurricane in there. The hurricane has added some really nice purplish colors into these rainbows, and with the with the pattern distribute uh, with the pattern morph that's here too, I mean this these are going to just be crazy looking when they get bigger. A couple sheds, I think we're going to be very 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 excited about this project. I know you guys are going to want to get involved in it. Obviously, if you can't uh, afford, I don't even know how many of these rainbows I'll be letting go. I still have a couple more litters in the incubator that could be producing something similar to this, but I might let a couple visual rainbows go. If not. We got these 66 percenters that are super hurricane, hypo, and inches. So, I mean, we got a lot of great stuff in this litter. It's gonna be hard for me to sell anything because I love everything I'm seeing here. Look at this guy. He's going south, young man. All right, a good way to end the week here. These beautiful, beautiful visual hypo, enchi, and super enchi, hurricane, super hurricane, rainbows. All right, guys, you know, look, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days. Today was one of those really good days. The odds gods were shining on us. You know, everything, I got 100% hatch rate on this clutch. It was a terrific clutch. It was something I was really looking forward to. You know, for all the bad stuff and a couple things that I lost early this year, maybe things that didn't go, this made up for it because this was the clutch I really wanted to see in the ball python realm hatch. I really wanted to see, you know, what I was going to produce. I didn't know. I, I just envisioned saying I wanted to see what a what a hypo, you know, super enchi, super hurricane, rainbow looked like. I mean, I just wanted to see what one looked like, and I think we got one, and we got we might have gotten three of them actually. We certainly got a hypo, rainbow, hurricane, enchi. I think they're super hurricanes, and I think that some some of them might be super enchis as well. So that combination as you can see, it looks spectacular. And those guys haven't even shed yet. So when you see them after they shed, the purples that you're gonna see in this snake are gonna be crazy. 
And look, there's nothing cooler than a purple snake, whether it be a ball python, a reticulated python, uh, a Burmese python, a boa. We love purple, right? I mean, a purple snake you can't go wrong with. So some of these will be available. I have two more clutches in the incubator, same father, different, different mother. We're not gonna see any more super hurricanes because I, I only obviously only have the one female that was um, hypo, uh, hypo and she hurricane. But we have some possibilities to get some other cool stuff, um, certainly to produce rainbows in these other two litters. And the eggs look pretty good as well. So healthy bunch of babies that uh, were produced from these uh, rain, rainbows that we had. Um, all the eggs seem to be good. I don't see a lot of slugs. I didn't see a lot of eggs turn bad. So you know, hopefully the genetic line is pretty strong. Uh, hurricanes seem to do really well, I found, you know, and this year I really, I, it took me a real long time to get these hurricanes to produce, but this year we really produced some spectacular ones. I haven't listed a single one for sale though, but I, I promise you some of them will go up if you guys want to reach out to me separately. A lot of people buy stuff from me without me even posting it. And, uh, you know, they ask me questions, hey Dave, what do you think I should do? You have any suggestions? You know, what combos would you put together? And I have no problem making suggestions for you like that. And once again, try to pair stuff up that'll produce cool stuff for you, especially if you're just getting into it. It's a pretty fresh project. There's not a lot of people with rainbow stuff and there's certainly no one with hurricane rainbow stuff. So I'm excited that I got this going on and hopefully we'll see you in the next day. Like I said two weeks as the other stuff hatches what we got. For now, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button. I'll see you back Monday morning.